22 days after you were conceived, there was a tiny little electrical impulse that stimulated your heart muscle. It was so faint that it could not even be detected, but it was in fact the very first beat of your heart. You know, your heart is an amazing thing, but, but even more amazing than your physical heart is the fact that God has given you a spiritual heart or an inner you. This is the part of you that chooses to love or not love, whether you commit or don't commit, whether you forgive or don't forgive. This is the part of you that the writer of Proverbs was talking about when he said, above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. He said, guard it, because you're going to live your life from your heart. question is, how do you guard your heart in a broken world? Because part of living in this broken world is broken relationships. I mean, from Genesis 3, 4, there's this string of relational pain. There's Adam and Eve, there's Cain and Abel, there's Isaac and Ishmael, there's Jacob and Esau. Relationships broken as a result of deceit and envy, hostility, betrayal. And, and yet somehow, in the midst of all this relational hurt, God wanted there to be relational healing, and it would come through the exercise of forgiveness. The practice of letting go of your right to hurt somebody back. You know, the thing about forgiveness, though, is that it's never cheap. I mean, and you know this, authentic forgiveness will always cost you something. Because when you've been hurt, and, and that hurt is deep, there's something inside of you that makes you want to see them get hurt back. You want to see them go through the same kind of pain that they inflicted on you. So forgiveness is never cheap, but it's always vital. It, it, it's vital because that anger and that bitterness begins to impact your heart. Uh, it, it's vital because you begin to experience it like this weight or this burden that you carry around. It, it's almost like it becomes a part of you, even though you can't see it. So you carry it from environment to environment. You, you carry it from relationship to relationship, from season to season. And if you carry around that bitterness and that anger long enough, eventually it's gonna choke the joy out of your heart. You carry that bitterness and that anger around long enough and eventually it's gonna crowd the compassion out of your heart. And if you carry it around long enough, eventually it's gonna choke the life out of your heart. We are. It really Some of you have been deeply hurt because someone wounded you, someone betrayed you, someone lied to you, someone cheated you. Maybe they even did it deliberately and, and you know it. And, and the pain that you feel is deep and it's real, it's personal and it's certainly unfair. just afraid. You're afraid that if you let go of the hurt, somehow they get away with something. 
that if you let go of the hurt, if you were to forgive them, that, that somehow they get off scot-free, that, that you have to swallow the pain that you wanted to push back on them. And you're right, because to forgive someone, you pay a high cost. A matter of fact, the only thing I can think of that will cost you more than forgiving someone is to not forgive someone. Because non-forgiveness can cost you your heart. Yeah.